I represent a very working class Latino area. Uh, the downturn uh, in the uh, home building uh, economy has really disproportionately affected my area. Uh, my area is your carpenters, your masons, um, your, even down to your, your road construction crews. And with this downturn in the economy, a lot of them have found themselves unemployed. An investment uh, in my community through the Jobs Act, such as you know, rebuilding our schools, our highways, our roads, our bridges, would directly hire a lot of these families uh, and put them back into, uh, into work. In addition, when you talk about the um, payroll tax cut, this is very important for, for my families. My Latino families are barely hanging on right now. Um, it's hard for them to make their mortgage payments, their rent payments, and the payroll tax is nothing to laugh at, it's $1,000. $1,000 for my Latino families is uh, in Phoenix almost could be two months, two months worth of their mortgage payment, two months worth of the rent, or a down payment to fix the truck that they need to get to work. It's important that we cannot wait to pass the Jobs Act because every day that we delay, we're actually putting a family deeper and deeper into a financial and emotional hole. Um, my Latino families are very proud families. They just want to work, they want to provide for their kids, they want to send their kids to college, they want to be part of the American dream. More importantly, if you start looking at, at the, uh, so many Latino veterans that are coming back, as a veteran myself, I know how emotionally draining it was to come back from the war and not have a job and wondering if I will ever have a job. Um, psychologically speaking, our veterans need to get back, get back into society and get into a job as fast as possible. It's important that something like the Jobs Act, uh, especially with the veterans, uh, incentives to hire veterans is, is included in this because our, our veterans really need, our Latino veterans really need to be hired.